What are you doing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. I thought that'd be a bit of an interesting way to say hello to your faces and welcome you to a new vlog. And more importantly, give me a good transition to tell you guys about the good news, which after eight years, I can finally talk to you guys about. <laughs> Because, as you guys know, Syndicate Original, my clothing line, it's had a Twitter, it's had a website, and we've promoted it, and it's been great. But do you know what we've not had for eight long years? An Instagram. Until now, ladies and gentlemen, the Syndicate Original Instagram is indeed live, and it is public. You can go here and follow in it, and just to kind of give you guys a bit of an explosion adventure reason to actually go and follow it, we're going to be giving away five £100 Amazon gift cards to five lucky people who go follow the account. And more so, the new swag you see me wearing, we're going to be giving away five full outfits to some lucky followers as well. So just throwing it out here, link to the description, go and follow it, explosion, and you never know, you may get swagged out. Now it's time to get on with the vlog. I hope you enjoy it. I'm just looking for my wallet because I think I lost it down here. So leave a like, rate and subscribe and enjoy. Now, for the adventure we're about to go on, I would love to be going in the whip because the drive would be amazing. However, um, I don't think we're going to be cramming four people into the back of this car. So we are indeed taking the bad boy. And your boy's not going to be driving. Lydia's going to be driving and I'm going to play RuneScape the entire damn way. Good driving, baby. Smashed it. Six hours on the road. We've arrived at our destination. The holiday home. Now I tell you something. This right place here now is a place with a view. Are we in? No. Oh, we're in. Not full yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's have a look. That is absolutely insane. What a view. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. Let me just let me just do a test. Is it hot? Is it on yet? Oh, it's boiling. Oh, it's boiling. <laughs> but wow, this really is a stupidly beautiful view. Let's go in shade and see what's a crack lagging. Hello there. Just here to visit in. Oh, 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 very nice. Oh, wow. It comes with like shampoo kits and everything. Oh, yes. A bed for me and a bed for Lydia. Perfect. Oh, I love this. I was supposed to be here for only three days, but I might stay longer. Ooh. I gotta stay. <laughs> well, the hot tub's pretty warm. I'm just saying that right now, but what a view this is, man. I actually cannot get over it. It's stunning. And you better bloody know, I've already found a local pub. It's down the road. The Globe. I'll be, I'll be bloody going there and be, you better know it. Now, where's the Wi-Fi? Where's the Wi-Fi? I found it. I found the Wi-Fi. We're good. It's got Wi-Fi. We're good. <sighs> home for the next few days let's get unpacking and oh would you look at that brand new razor backpack hashtag ad hashtag sponsor razor was like uh, oh tom if you do a video of you traveling with a backpack or anything um like send us the footage and like, they probably thought i was going to go to like the most crazy destination in the world and i thought no do you know where my first destination is i'm going to take this a bloody cabin in swanage lid i'm going to refrain from opening any outside doors this trip to not let any mosquitoes in <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it has been decided this shall be the room of the razor swag. I will claim this side. Closest to the window in case anyone breaks in and you have to lump them. And the quickest way out. Do you ever just get the feeling that you're being watched? <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. Like a fucking direwolf. I've already found myself walking down back alleys <laughs> through bushes and through nettles and I am making my way to the final destination. Because if there's one thing every British man should do when they're on a campsite holiday is to find the bar. Now this is a place to take a seat and have a drink. Flipping heck. Wow. Ooh. That's just 5.50. Cracking. Offshore. Very nice. <laughs> I've come all this way. And the guy behind the bar is a bloody viewer. What a bloke. Offshore Pilsner. Beautiful. Okay, so if we put this down here and then take a look off in the distance, I'm pretty sure <laughs> there's Lydia. Now, 
this is the biggest downside of having one of the best views of the caravan park. You've got to walk back up it. So, one small step for man, one giant gulp of my costa. I saw the seaside. I saw it first. I saw it first. Is it movie theatres? A bakery? A bloke? <laughs> Let's go. Let's get it on. Well, slippery neck. When we said we were going on a family holiday to Dorset, this is not what I was expecting. Yo! This Dorset is absolutely lit! Isn't it? It's absolutely popping off. Oh. <laughs> it's windy and made it. Ah, that smells like fresh British air, that. Apparently we're in a bit of a rush to get some mussels from somewhere. So the point lid's got the crocs in sport mode. Go, 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 go. Where are we going? No. <laughs> One second, Bob's a faint. Uh, apparently this is what we've come for. Uh, some sort of massively famous mussels at G. White's Fish Bar. Oh, <laughs> they're already in the queue. So I don't, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but all I've been asked is, what are you doing here? Because <laughs> apparently this place to the locals is rubbish. But to this family, it's one of the best holidays ever. So cheers. Okay, by the way, your dad is like the best crab I've ever seen. That's mad. <laughs> That's a spider crab. He's a big, isn't he? What? Oh, so go ahead. Go <laughs> on, Whoa! Oh, look at that. That's like something out of a movie. Wait. Wow. That is an incredible catch. Flipping heck! There they go. Oh, look at his teeth! <laughs> uh, let's put him back in there. Well, good catch, guys. Great catch. Now, the restaurant's over there. You just go and cook him. <laughs> You're going to start buzzing because I can see that guy preparing some sort of mass. Look, right, so I got that, the seafood platter with all that stuff on, and that, to me, be... <laughs> Vicky, Lydia. <laughs> <video. laughs> Looks like a no, no. Not yet. <laughs> All around me are so familiar faces, worn out places, worn out places. Such confidence. Bro, that was fine. No, come back, man's buzzing. I swear. Well, at least the sunset's getting more and more gorgeous every time I turn around. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. That. <laughs> yes. Oh, why are you trusting me with this? Look at that. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, this looks good. Vicky? Me? Dude? Thanks for the invite. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I've come all the way. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> to be assaulted by mussels. I've been assaulted. I got that on camera. Oh. I've come all the way to be assaulted by flying mussels. I'll get you another one, wait. It was more of the sharp shell stabbing me in the face. <laughs> that was more of an issue, to be fair. It's dripping. <gasps> I'm trying oh, to get the sauce on it for you. Go! Oh, oh. Lydia! <laughs> oh my god, Liz! I still got it everywhere. That's it. Right, Liz, calm down. It goes you've been, everywhere. You've been told off now. <laughs> wow. Come on, one more. Muscles, 10 out of 10. Yeah, White bait. Got some more, one more. Ooh, it's got a nice aftertaste, yeah. Ooh. What is that? Oh, it's big, though. That <laughs> looks like. Is that a sea snail? Yeah, that's what I want. Oh. Dip it in there. You know what I'm going to describe that as? <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Donkey. Donkey. Bloody hell. I'm going to say this right now, guys, as a first meal on our adventure. G. White loved it. Now, I'd just like to say I've just finished all of that platter, and these guys Did are all eating like ice cream. Oh, Somehow, women have this magical power. <laughs> of having a second stomach for dessert. <laughs> I don't get it. They're insane. But the sun has indeed set upon the horizon and it is a gorgeous evening in Swansea. Swanage. We're not in Wales. We're definitely not in Swansea. Sorry about that. An inaugural beer tree in Victoria. What are you giving it out of 10? Um, the mussels. Mussels 10. Mussels. Solid 10. 10. Lid? 
Come, come, come. Company 11. <laughs> oh, oh. Stop it. <laughs> Did you suck out yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the muscles? Yeah, they were really good. Look, our first day is a holiday. Yeah. It's our first family holiday. I'm loving it. Wow. Imagine this being your local. Crocky. Want to move to Dorset? How would you? Are we in Dorset? Yeah, Just making sure we're not in Wales, right? <laughs> and we are back at the lodge. And I'll say it once, I'll say it twice, I'll say it three fucking times. Would you just look at that view? It's absolutely stunning. Whoa, 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 this is a fence transition. You know what that means? It means if you've not gone and followed the new Syndicate original Instagram account, go and do it now. Don't forget, five £100 Amazon gift cards go into one of your faces and five new full outfits for free go into one of your faces as well. All you've got to do is go and follow the Instagram. Link's down below. Go and follow it. What are you doing? Have you done it? Good. Enjoy the video. And it is a new dawn and it's a new day in Dorset. And we are going down for a walk by the sea. It's my Dorset ensemble. Lydia, walk me through this outfit. Wow. She got the Reigns Mac. Boom. Water gonna, drips off it. She got the fancy bag on the outside looking fresh. <laughs> she got the jumper, your, your mum's carpet ensemble jumper. <laughs> and she got the Crocs. Oh, not in sport mode. No. I look great, don't I? Family holiday, 2K, <laughs> 22. 10 out of 10. And now for a slight bit of nature watch. I have found a moth and it is one of the possibly cutest animals I've ever seen. Look at those eyebrows. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Oh, it's just tucked away. Oh, hello. Is there anybody in there? You can see its little eyes. Whoa. That is so cute. Right now, I'm going to let you go over here and be safe. This is your new home now. Enjoy. Oh, get up. Get up. Get up. What is... Get off. <laughs> you will be fine here. I'll just make sure not to light a barbecue here later. Okay, goodbye. On our trails, we have found an old forage or forge emporium. An antique shop. Oh. I kind of really like that. It says only 80 to pay. Oh, it's reserved. Bastard, someone's beat me to it. This is easily one of my favorite kind of shops to walk in. It's just a gold mine. I don't even think you could make that for nine pounds. That's all they want for that. That is gorgeous. Oh, I can't be in a shop like this. There's just so much random stuff I want to buy. I'm just saying this right now. If you know, you know. I'm not saying anything or any references but if you know, you know. Oh. <laughs> I also forgot it's in shops like this that you find the really, really weird stuff. And on that note, <laughs> this place really is stunning. Yeah, I saw them actually. Oh, look at that bridge. Oh, oh this is picturesque. Now, bloody hell, does that take me down memory lane? The last time I've ever seen a Wimpy's or been to a Wimpy's, it's probably when I was like 10 at a bowling alley. Doesn't mean I want to go back in it. <laughs> you can take the girl out of Hong Kong, but you can't take her out of Greg's. <laughs> sausage yeah, rolls for days. You just can't beat it. Oh, look at them. <laughs> look at them over there with their sausage rolls and all that. How is that? She's such a foodie. How she's not 19 stored in a dip. I have no idea. Mm. I found the coast. I found the seaside. And it is very, very windy. You know it's cold if you're at the beach and people are all wearing coats. <laughs> Lydia's trying to wrap up in as many layers as she can. <laughs> and I'm out at sea. Now, I just had to do some bargain hunting. Look what I found. I found this like cigarette tin or cigar tin or whatever you want to call it, a smoke tin. But look at that. There was a map of the United Kingdom on it. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to have to get that. So nice little pickup. Got that for like seven quid. And uh, now we're going into a place called Choco, which apparently is very, very nice. Ooh. Oh. I didn't get the memo. I went buying cigarette cases and the ladies decided to do it correctly. Oh, oh, oh. Can I have a bit? <laughs> come, come, come. That's dreamy. 
Very nice. Now it do indeed be very windy by the beach, but I may have found something awesome. A good few minutes ago, I found a pirate and I asked him directions to where all the pirates were headed. And he said this way. We've definitely found the right place because they indeed have cannons, campsites, and oh, the Royal Navy be out in force against the pirates of the Swanage. Yeah? Pirates of the Swanage. <laughs> how unbelievably random, but how unbelievably awesome. What a place to have a pirate encampment. Look at this. Look at that guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is epic. Couldn't have said I was expecting this this weekend. No siree. Pick the house on the top of the hill, they said. <laughs> It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> Just one foot in front of the other. We keep her going. <laughs> you didn't want to drive. I tell you something, that's one journey from all the way down to the coast, all the way up this massive hill to our viewing point. It wouldn't be a holiday if I didn't trek up that mountain. That spice cold beers. Ooh. A bit of Moriarty, thank you. May you take your place on the shelf. Grazie. It isn't a seaside getaway unless you go to the local shop and get yourself <laughs> a trolley. <laughs> well, <laughs> a trolley. <laughs> yeah, this, this is what we're missing a barbecue. <laughs> now, yes, you did just see me buying a uh, disposable barbecue, but I am indeed going to try and attempt to cook the good stuff <laughs> from a place called Salt Pig on it. So let's hopefully not ruin it and make something awesome. Tell you something, this place is looking mighty fine and I seem to have lost my girlfriend. Where's she gone? Hello? You bastard, you didn't look up for me like that. You can't be doing that, you did. You went to the bathroom right at the convenient time there, didn't you? Why did you have to pay for it? <laughs> it's really, Ooh. really... Oh, you out here fancy. Beatrice is here applying the lemon drizzle. Don't look at this one. What's wrong? <laughs> well, what happened here? Hello, lemon. What is this? <laughs> By the way, we're, oh, we're cooking all this like super fine cuisine and the best meats we could possibly get our hands on. On the, the windiest tundra of barbecues. Ooh. Oh, bloody hell, that's hot. I'll just make sure not to light a barbecue here later. B, <laughs> we're yeah. cooking with coals. I know, it's very Not good. quite gas. Updated on the food, go, go, go. Steaks on, salmon's on. Oh, what? How have you got such a good colour on the steak on this? Oh my gosh. It's not the tools, it's the chef. Oh, <laughs> No, but really, you've got that looking really good. Saucy. Mm, that looks so good. Oh, that looks so good. Always going on a holiday with a family of foodies. <laughs> mm, nice. Oh, come on, we're like eating in style. Oh, this is a vibe because I'm watching the Jubilee. Woo! Look at us, we, both, we sat three feet away from the TV. We sat three feet away from the TV with glasses on. Oh! So not interested. <laughs> wow, that is epic. That is absolutely epic. Yes. Amazing. Enjoy it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it dangerous to be in a hot tub during a lightning storm? Probably. I think it might be. B, Vicky, we are A-OK -okay until we get turned into prawn toast. <laughs> Determined to get the shot though. We've got to get... <gasps> that was the shot and I was filming the wrong way. <laughs> Oh, we're using a fuck. Can you, you see, see it behind, behind us? us as well? Yeah. Ice cold rain is coming down now. How beautiful is this? It is pretty magical. Last time. What? Oh, I may or may not have just caught a crack. <gasps> Bloody hell. Oh, wow, that was on top Okay, of yeah, us. I felt blind from that. I, oh my gosh. Wow, okay, blinded. yeah, I think we might be in the eye of the storm. That's it touching down. That, we, we, we may need to escape. ASAP. Oh, um, this is not good. Lydia. Red flag. Red flag. <gasps> I think I fucking got it. I think I fucking got it. Holy shit. 
I can go. We don't need to die. Let's get out of here because we're about to get blitzed. I actually got it. I'm out here in the wilderness of Swansea. <laughs> Swanage. Oh my God. Swanage. Oh my God. I couldn't, I couldn't have painted it. This Why? is brilliant. Ooh, adventure day out, and it is a rainy old day. And we're supposed to be going to Durdle Door. And it's that rainy day where it's the fine rain that gets you wet, wet. We've absolutely peaked. We've made it to Pool Town Centre. And there's a Greg's. There's also an eye crack if we need to fix our phone. Just what I was looking for. Join us on a seaside holiday, Tom, in the beautiful weather of England. You down in Dorset. You can't beat British summertime. Down in Dorset. Do you know what? This is pouring the Pouring down in Dorset. It's pouring down. Go on. Weather to fish and chips on the, Ooh. On the harbour. Ooh. Oh, I got a raindrop in my mouth when I said that. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, this is kind of nice. <laughs> Truly scrumptious sweet shop. Oh, go on. Whoa. Oh. Oh wow, that smells good. That smells really good. Oh. No, this is a proper day by the seaside. I've got my pizza. you got your sweets. <laughs> You're so childish, I love it. <laughs> the weather might be bad, but apparently there's a blooming seafood festival going on. Ooh, what you got, what you got, what you got? Garlic, butter prawns. It's garlic, butter prawns. And I'll tell you what, it's very good. So right now we're walking towards Sunseeker, which is a really I look like famous. I belong on a Sunseeker, don't I look at me? Oh, I can't believe it belonged <laughs> in the bottom of the ocean, to be honest. But this is Sunseeker, where they make really fancy boats and yachts. So rather than me filming something like that, I'm filming something like that. Flipping heck. That has got to be some serious, serious money. Look at it along the harbour. Just boat after boat after boat after boat. Wow. You know, like you do on a random adventure to Dorset, you've got to go and see the sights. And this one particular site is a man, a, a man drawn in a mountain with a big penis. What a bloke. Just a bit of history going on here. And if you can't actually see what he fully looks like there, there he is, the old geezer. <laughs> Bloody hell. A shore and a grower. This is so pretty. Oh, I love little walks. We just randomly stumbled across this beautiful house. Weeping willows across this. Oh my goodness me, this is just gorgeous. But we are now wandering around the grounds because on a map, there was a beautiful well and we're gonna try and find it. Imagine this being your garden. Oh, you have a, you know, yeah, do you know, yeah, exactly. You know, you've got like a grounds. It's so pretty. I think, this might be where, I think that might be where we're going. I could be wrong though. I'm going to guess we're going this way. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, I found the well. I found it. Oh, this is lovely. Definitely seems like the kind of place where people were sacrificed or something like that. Yeah, this definitely looks like where blood sacrifices were made. I've played enough Skyrim to see there's like a, a, a demon about to appear and attack me. So I'm going to walk away. Now this is what you call a grounds. How stunning is this place? Look at that in your garden part of a you know casual castle just chilling straight up something from lord of the rings this oh wow this architecture is absolutely stunning look at that door look at it oh i do like that might need to get our joe sug on this one look at that ivy's growing into it and everything is that a pub oh it is a pub the royal built in 1540 i might have to get half a pint in the royal oak i'm just saying that is, are we going into the giant inn? Oh, I think I might have to have a look inside. Oh, this is a bit of me. Thank you. That's what I've gone for. Oof. Oh, it's a blonde beer. Very nice. Okay, so plot twist. <laughs> We're all running to see what could possibly be a beautiful sight but yeah we're not sure if we're gonna make it and more so we couldn't drive to the parking she's area but we couldn't we couldn't get onto the car park area because all the barriers were up so we parked as close as we can and we're running oh come on 
Where are you? What a view. What a campsite with what a view. Welcome to the windiness that is Dirdledore World Heritage Site. We managed to make it in time before the sun went down. Are we going? Are we going, we going. Come on. Come on. This is beautiful. Wow. Oh, wow. That's like, that's like of a postcard. Oh. Oh. That is amazing. The most perfect time. Luda was just saying this minute before. All the people here right now. Look at it to ourselves. I wouldn't be surprised if someone's down there watching the sunset. But look at this. No one else around us. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. This was amazing. As if you saw the sign saying oh dirt or door, you were like, let's do it. Oh my gosh, I almost wouldn't have seen this. Those stairs look like, you know, the pictures you see of Everest. Oh, yeah, 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 just uh, picture it, people crammed up it. That is just so blue, so green, and then just so orange with the sunset. No. That was that, do you remember we got a heat wave in lockdown, but you yeah. opened up the beaches, that was what it was like. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this, um, <laughs> this right now, having this to ourselves beats it. Look down there, there's a little miniature version of it. A little hole in the side of the mountain. Oh, yes. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Great shout, baby. Great shout. Wow. Shout out to this guy. Oh, we're from Manchester as well. Manchester, the <laughs> <laughs> You can't write it. I'm here vlogging away like, this is so beautiful with Lydia. And he's like, trying to pitch him out. And he's like, yeah, yeah, take some photos. He goes, yeah, I know you are. <laughs> hey, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You guys are fucking everywhere. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you nailed it. This is because of you. It's so picturesque, it's unreal. Sun is going down. What a beautiful spot we found. Now we've got to go all the way back up that hill. We regret nothing. We regret nothing. Say it. Quick, the car's gonna get towed. The car is gonna get towed. I gotta say something now. I actually really like this side as well. Like, that's nice, but that is very nice. Go on, down the stairs, I'll time you. No. no. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Absolutely. 1000% not worth it. Worth it. <laughs> That's me again. Was it worth it? Yes. Make the trip. I'm exhausted. All right. It is my last day in Swanage. Beatrix, it has been a pleasure. <laughs> My adventure in Swanage does indeed come to an end. Dorset has been absolutely lovely. The rainstorm section was probably one of my key moments. It was epic. <gasps> and this entire campsite area we've been at with hot tub and all has been absolutely wicked. But alas, we are indeed now heading to Bournemouth where I will be parting ways with the Hewitt Lees and embarking on my very own adventure. Now, even though it's almost the end of my adventure here, we're at the Priory for some afternoon tea of sorts. Ooh. Oh, God, I tell, this is gorgeous. Oh, lovely. Oh, now this. <laughs> this is a bit of something, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. So British. So pretty. Is that someone's house? Oh, so you can stay. Oh, wow. It's so nice. Ooh, we're now outside Morden's Co-op at Barnacles. We've actually done so many Google reviews to find a good fish and chip shop. It's not Finley's Mega Chippy. But it is indeed Barnacles. And apparently it's very, very, very good. Lydia and family with chip shop in hand. And whew, we have made it to... Bournemouth Port City Centre. I'm pretty sure it's just Bournemouth City Centre, but we made it. And we indeed made it by the seaside. I, I'm confused as to what this was at first. I thought it was like an animal sea life place, but I think it's just crazy golf. But look at this. Oh, a gorgeous, gorgeous place to be. And we have found a prime location to try Barnacles, best chip shop in all of Bournemouth. Or possibly not, we'll find out. That looks good. Oh. 
It's like a triple battered fish. Goodbye now. Hi. Goodbye now. I love you. Okay. I will go build. No, you thought, you thought I was going to come from over the fence. Well, I'm not doing, but I am ending the video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the adventure. It was lovely. I had a cracky time. I'm back home in England right now where um, it's miserable. Uh, it's not too good. And I've still got that pesky wasp nest to deal with. So leave a like, Crane, in the next video. If you'd like to see me use petrol, a fuse, and create um, an explosion. So that's the option for you guys. If you leave a like, subscribe, you never know it may happen. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget the Syndicate original launch, link in the description, the Instagram on screen now, boom, is available. And we will indeed be giving away five £100 gift cards to five lucky followers and five full outfits to five lucky people. And don't let me, don't, don't let me like, just throw that out there and you go, that's all right, that's all cool. Because when I mean go and follow the account, the other future giveaways and stuff we're going to be doing on our account are absolutely epic. I finally managed to let Syndicate original let go of the budget and let me have a bit of fun. So... Make sure you go and follow it. Thanks for watching the vlog, guys. I'll catch you next Sunday for the next vlog. And until then, much love and salios.